Hey guys, I want to go ahead and show you a quick demo with Escort Live and how to automate it so that when you get in your car and your detector starts up, uh, the app automatically starts up as well. So uh, check this out. Go ahead and start up our car, quote unquote. Everything gets power. You'll see the phone wakes up. The detector turns on and then automatically uh, Escort Live will load. Connects to the detector and it's up and running. So, how cool is that? Uh, you'll see the Bluetooth icon on the left on the Max 2 just switched over and now we are connected and paired. Uh, totally hands-free, didn't have to do a single thing. And then when we turn off our car, we'll go ahead and disconnect the power and you'll see everything shuts off. So, really slick. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about how to do this now on iOS. So, as you can see, we got an iPhone here. So, let's go ahead and wake everything back up. Okay, we'll let the detector power on. And so in order for this to work, you do have to have a jailbroken iPhone. Uh, once you have it jailbroken, you're going to want to detect or you're going to want to download Activator. Uh, it's available from Cydia, from the jailbroken app store basically. And what it lets you do is automate uh, a lot of stuff with your phone. So there's actually two ways that we can do this. The way that I showed you is a little bit fancier. It's not hard or anything, but there's a little bit more going on with the phone turning on and turning off. Uh, for most people, you're not necessarily going to need to do that. If the iPhone is actually your main phone and uh, you don't always keep it in the car, really all you're going to need to do is have it automatically launch Escort Live when it connects to the detector. And the way to do that is really simple. We're going to say, um, for example, uh, if we're at the home screen, or we can just do anywhere. Anytime uh, we connect to the Passport Max 2, we're going to, oops, I just got rid of it, but we'll do it. We'll scroll down here to the very bottom. You can see there's all these different commands you can do when we make the Bluetooth connection to the detector. We'll scroll down here, way, way, way down, and uh, Escort Live, there it is near the bottom. Activate application, and we'll check that. So what happens now is at any time when we make a connection to the Max 2, it's gonna go ahead and launch uh, Escort Live for us. So really, really simple. Um, there is one caveat that you're gonna wanna keep in mind. For those of you guys who want to use your phone as a dedicated phone in your car, uh, this will apply. For most people, this won't apply. But uh, what I found is, let's say, um, you remember how the phone would actually wake up when uh, I got the power? The way that works is we're going to say, uh, when we're at the lock screen, when we connect, or when we uh, get power from the phone, uh, I want to unlock the device. So this is really handy and this is going to do something kind of important for us. What it's going to do is uh, it takes a little bit of time for the Bluetooth connection to be made between the detector, uh, the detector and the phone. And what happens is if you try to actually launch Escort Live from the lock screen, uh, it's not going to work, right? Your phone has to be unlocked. So what you can do is when the phone receives power, we're going to unlock the device. Uh, that'll bring it up here into the main window. Or actually, I'll show you this real quick. We'll just do that. So first thing that's going to do, step one, is going to unlock the phone, right? Then there's a time delay while this thing is actually booting up. Then a couple seconds pass, the phone is already unlocked, the Bluetooth connection is made to here, and then now that the phone is successfully unlocked, it can go ahead and launch the app for us. Uh, if we don't have that time delay, uh, and we try to launch the app while the phone is still locked. If we try to do it simultaneously, it's not going to work. So uh, you do need to first unlock with the power. Then the second step is Bluetooth connection launches Escort Live. And then finally, if we go to Activator, uh, we'll go back and we can say at anywhere when we, and you can do it, you know, uh, when you disconnect from the detector or the way I have it set up. When we disconnect from the power, when the power goes away here because the car turns off, at that point I want to lock the device. So that's the third step there. So now when the uh, car turns off and we lose power, everything turns off just like that. So uh, that's all it takes. So again, what you'll want to do, uh, we'll unlock it. You're going to need to go to Cydia, download Activator, and then you can go in and customize it so that Escort Live is all automated. So. There you go. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.